Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day. Um, if you've seen the last video or two videos, we're just having births everywhere. I had to pull that baby lamb. That was crazy. Um, luckily, I happened to be home at the time to be able to pull it and it's doing great. And uh, now I'm in here with the quail right over here in the laundry room. <laughs> I'm in here at the quail. We got like 12 or 14 hatched out of 30 36 or 38. Um, I think they're still hatching. Um, I had some hatch last night. I'm going to go ahead and get um, the ones that are a little bit older, a day older, that are they're dried out and ready to go in the brooder. I've had the brooder warming up, um, so we're going to move some of these uh, baby quail in there. Then I'll talk to you and show you some more footage of some other stuff. If you guys like the video, if you do like it, subscribe right there. Thanks, guys. Let me try to do this fast. They're moving quick. Look at all them. There's 14. Oh, my. Oh, wow. all right, hold on. Hi guys! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna let you grab them and put them in the box and Hallie's gonna take them out to the garage and then we're gonna put them in there. Okay? I'll help you. Like this. Out of here, put the box up, Hallie. Yeah. Grab something. These things are little. Don't drop them, you cannot drop them, sis. Yeah, okay, get out of here. things are fast. Don't drop them, hopefully. You gotta be careful. Hey, how did you do it? How many you got in there? You know how many you got? Twelve. Let's go in there. And one of them feed. Yep, set them right underneath the light. Aww. No, put it back. You gotta set it in there. Be easy. Count them. One, one two, three. three. Are you okay? A lot of people are saying to uh, put rocks and stuff in there, but I'm telling you, this is so small. I don't think it's necessary. Um, I don't think they can get in there and splash around or anything, but I got it close to the heat. That way they don't have to go out to the cold over here um, to get some food and water. They might venture on over there like this one is, but they'll be able to stay pretty comfortable right here underneath this light. So you guys know how many we got? 14. Are you sure? Can I show them one? No, we already, they already seen one. Okay. How many is there? 14. Okay, so there's 14 of them so far. There's another one hatching. We had 36 or 38, 37, something like that one broke. Um, so that's already like a 50, no, that's 28. We're almost at a 50% hatch rate. And I was, that's, I think that's what I was wanting, 50% at least. Um, that's pretty good for mail ordered uh, eggs and they're still hatching so I'm um, gonna keep you guys updated um, later on this evening and I'll, I'll go check on them again see how many more hatch um, if they're not hatched by tonight I'm, they're probably not gonna the rest of them aren't gonna hatch um, so I'll show you all that and I'll show you one that actually um, I caught hatching in the process so I hope you guys like the rest of the video there's a bunch of them oh, they're fast that was the fastest. That, that one right there uh, almost one in that box I know and that one peed. All right, let's go back in the house. Hi, what's up? This is day two of the vlog. Um, I actually got some footage from yesterday moving these little quail in here. I call them the little rare, uh, the little rare eggs from Amazon um, because they are rare uh, where I live. You cannot find these uh, little quails around here and you would think everyone raised them. I keep hearing people raising them around here but I can't find anyone who has any. Um, they're sold out, they don't have any at all. Um, so yeah, they're rare to me, rare to my part of the country, not rare throughout the world obviously. But let me show you what we got here. I think we hatched like 25 out of 36 or 37 like that. So that's, that's well over 50% hatch rate. And that's exactly what I was hoping for, at least 50%. And I got another 36 or 37, something like that, 38, on the inky, other incubator. So uh, in a few more days, like another week or so, we're probably gonna have some more. So we'll, let me show you what we got here and I'll, I'll talk a little bit about them. That's what we got going on now. They're actually coming around over here. It's about, it's probably in the uh, mid 40s. Um, I got them in my garage, but it is plenty warm right there. I moved their food close. I don't know what I told you guys already in the video, um, but yeah. They're doing really well so far. And I'm gonna, these aren't, they're not gonna stay here real long. I'm, I'm probably actually gonna put, uh, I got some wire uh, mesh I'm gonna put over this. That way if they start flying in about, you know, four or five days, six days, I'm not sure how long they, how, how fast they grow for them to start flying, but I will definitely put some, uh, put something over this so they can't fly out. Yeah, that's, they're already eating and everything, so everything's going good. I haven't had any problems with this little water. You can see how small it is with the uh, quail. Some people were thinking I might have some 
problems with this, but no issues whatsoever so far. It's just small enough. It says it's actually made for quail. So you could tell, um, if this was too hot, they'd be like a circle around it. Um, if it was too cold, they'd all be bunched up. They're actually just right. They're just moving around. Um, when I walked in here earlier, they were actually just laying here. Um, perfect uh, fan. Uh, you might call them. They fanned out perfectly. So uh, that tells me the temperature is perfect for them. And I haven't had any dying yet or anything like that. So everything's good to go. So I actually got some footage of some of these hatch or one of these hatching out. Um, I got quite a bit of it, but I'll fast forward it for y'all so you can just kind of see the process of it coming out of its shell. I don't know exactly how much I got. You're about to find out. And bef before I show that, let's check this out. This is this actually says it's four quails, 24% starter. Some people were telling me don't use this. It's poisonous to uh, the baby quail, which I find that hard to believe if they're advertising as quail feed. So what do y'all think? Do you guys know anything about this actual brand? I actually went and bought some more feed uh, from the feed store uh, yesterday. Um, but I already had this bag open, so um, they've been eating it since last night, and I haven't had any drop over dead. But yeah, some of y'all are saying this is poisonous to them. Something about being medic, medic, uh, having uh, medication in it or something. I don't know. But there, it's, there's a little quail on the side of it. In the back of it says for quail and baby chicks. Let me know what you know about that. Let me walk out here for you. It feels actually pretty nice today. Um, that's what we got going on right now. I probably showed you a little update of the sheep um, in the little intro. Um, the, the quail are doing good. We're going to have more quail to come. I'm going to put that cage together within the next day or two. And I'll show you guys the process of that. If you guys got any more suggestions, any more advice, um, leave them down in the comment section below. It Hel helps me out. You guys know I'm new to quail. First time I've ever raised quail, and uh, I'm a newbie for sure. So you guys, if you're new to it, you're going to learn along with me. And that's what I like to do. I like to teach others by my mistakes. <laughs> but hopefully we don't make any mistakes. Um, so far, so good. Um, over a 50% hatch rate, and that, I'm really excited about that um, because it was cold weather whenever they, they shipped this stuff to me. I mean, like in the teens. So I was kind of afraid that cold temperature might affect the eggs, maybe frozen or something. Um, but we, haven't, we didn't have any problems other than um, a 50% hatch rate or a little bit more. Uh, some people are saying you, you, should, you might get less than that or you might get 75%. I mean, uh, it, it, was, it was close. It was really, really good hatch rate. I'm, I'm very happy with it. Um, but, yeah, hope you guys like this little video. I just want to throw a quail video up for you all. Um, it's kind of put together through two days. So hope you guys uh, bear with me on that because um, I might repeat a lot of the stuff that I said last night. I don't know. I don't remember what I said. <laughs> but I'll definitely be having more updates. And we're going to be building some quail hutches and stuff like that. So we're going to have a good time with these quail. And uh, you guys are going to come along with me and learn with me. Thanks for watching, guys. Hey, if you're not subscribed, subscribe. Please do. Right, um, right there. There's a little button you can push. It will subscribe you to my channel. It doesn't cost you anything. It's free to do. People ask, what's that even do? Well, it just subscribes you and then you get uh, notifications. If you push a little bell, it'll give you notifications every time I post uh, new content. So if that really helps uh, me out on the channel, helps me push forward, keep pushing videos out. Because if no one's watching, there ain't no point of even putting them up. And you guys are really enjoying them. And I enjoy all your comments and thumbs up. Thanks so much. Guys, catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching.